Chase Me by Puss Puss. This is a commissioned reading. After shutting off the warm running water, Henry slid the shower curtain aside and stepped out, proceeding to dry himself off with a nearby towel. He was feeling incredibly fresh and clean after a hard day's work, organizing important documents at the Friendship Castle for Princess Twilight. It wasn't the most glamorous or exciting of jobs, but it paid well. Really well, in fact. It helped him to afford his very own house in Ponyville, which was quite large by his standard. It wasn't a mansion by any means, but he could live comfortably in his spacious two-story dwelling. He could even host a pretty sizable party or gathering if he so desired. Though, he wasn't really into the whole party scene. Being the only human in the small town of Ponyville made him feel out of place, and as a result, he rarely socialized with the pastel-colored equines. But that suited him just fine. He wasn't one to try and live life outside of his comfort zone. And aside from the constant fret of the town being destroyed every other week, he was content with the somewhat mundane lifestyle he lived by. After brushing his teeth, Henry put on his favorite set of matching sleepwear, a plain white shirt and long pants with cartoon-esque illustrations of strawberries on them. Once that was accomplished, he then opened the door to the bedroom and was instantly hit with a pleasant, earthy aroma of fresh and healthy flowers. He smiled and took in the scent, looking over all the different sized potted plants that decorated the area. His whole house was like this. There wasn't a room that didn't have some kind of flower or other type of decorative flora to liven things up. That was all thanks to his wonderful and amazing mare friend, Lily, who had been living with him for a while now. Henry looked towards his earth pony mare friend, who was currently waiting for him in their bed, lying on her side as she tended her zen garden on the nightstand with a tiny rake tool in her mouth. He also noticed the small plush replica of himself leaning against the lamp that was illuminating Lily's garden. He remembered that his mini Henry was given to her long before they started dating as a gag gift from her sisters Rose Luck and Daisy once they found out that she had a crush on him. The joke was on them because she absolutely loved it and kept it ever since. Chuckling softly, Henry shook his head at the silly notion that Lily still had a teddy bear version of himself, then took a moment to gaze at her while she was turned away from him. He admired her gorgeous pink coat that glistened under the soft light of the lamp. Her silky smooth, two-toned amber mane flowed freely down her back and spilled onto the bed sheets behind her, complete with the small lily flower that she always wore next to her ear. He couldn't see her like golden eyes from this angle, but he didn't need to. Already well acquainted with how alluring they were. Lily remained completely focused on her zen garden, making unique wavy patterns in the sand around the low tree in the center, blissfully unaware of Henry's staring. Knowing how skittish of a pony Lily was, Henry took this opportunity to have a little fun with her, as he often did. He slowly made his way to the bed and carefully climbed up behind the unsuspecting mare. He then placed his hand on her hip and kissed the side of her face at the same time, causing her to squeak softly and jerk her head up in surprise. Henry smiled wickedly, then nuzzled her cheek. <sighs> Sorry, dear. I didn't mean to frighten you. He lied with a playful chuckle. Lily sighed softly in relief before dropping the small rake tool down the nightstand next to her zen garden. It's okay, honey. You just startled me a little, is all. I didn't ruin your garden, did I? Henry asked, looking down to see that she had just finished. Nope, Lily replied happily, scooting herself back, snuggling deeper into Henry's body as he wrapped his arm around her. Once she was cozy, he started to lightly rub her belly while nibbling on the soft tip of her ear with his sharp canines, exactly how he knew she liked it. 
Lily closed her eyes and hummed quietly in the light. Someone is frisky tonight, she cooed, pushing her lower half into his hips. Henry could feel her soft and round backside rub against his quickly hardening manhood, causing him to hold her even tighter as his arousal grew. Mm-hmm, he murmured, pressing his lips down on the edge of her ear, suckling gently on her sensitive skin, knowing it would get a good reaction from the mare. Lily cooed while her ear reflexively tried to flick out of his stimulating lips, but failed to break free of his tight grasp. Giving in to the pleasure, she leaned her head towards him, giving him easy access as her eyelids fell slightly. They stayed like that for a short time before Lily spoke up again. Hey, honey? Hmm? Henry hummed for the small nibble of flesh he still had trapped between his lips. We've been together for a while now, right? Henry paused at this, then let go of her ear. Yes, he confirmed, sounding confused. Uh, well, Lily started to say with a light blush, but hesitated as she looked down and fidgeted with her hooves in front of her. I was just thinking the other day that maybe... Um... Uh, Maybe we could try something new in the bedroom sometime. You know, something that would make things a little more... exciting. Henry cocked a curious eyebrow as he processed what Lily was suggesting. It was true that their sex life, while healthy, was somewhat mediocre. They never really did anything other than pony style or missionary, and he had never thought anything of it until now. He was comfortable with their normal routine of lovemaking, but figured a little touching extra to spice things up might be pretty nice. Yeah? Henry replied, going back to rubbing her soft belly tenderly. Like what? Lily rolled over in his grasp, facing him with a soft and bashful smile. What if... She started to say, but paused as she looked down and placed a hoof on his clothed chest then proceeded to playfully rub one of the little strawberry illustrations on his shirt. What if we... role-played a bit? Role-played? Henry repeated, not sure what to really think about that at first. He knew what it was, but wasn't too familiar with the subject. The only thing that kept popping into his mind was how poor of an actor he was. Lily nodded, still playing with the little strawberries on his shirt. We could act out each other's wildest fantasies. You know, um, like sexy stuff we always wanted to try with each other. She stopped messing with the fabric and looked up to him. Is there anything that you've always wanted to try with me? Henry had never really gave an idea like that much thought before. But now that he was thinking about it, he did have a few things to come to mind. More than a few, actually. He always had a thing for mares that wore particular outfits. But he figured he should let Lily explain what she wanted first. Obviously, she had something in mind already, or else she wouldn't have brought it up in the first place. I can't really think of anything at the moment, Henry lied. What about you? Lily giggled nervously. Her blush brightened and she looked away from him shyly. Well, I do have this, uh, one little fantasy that I've always thought about doing with you. Really? Henry asked excitedly. What is it? Well, Lily started to say, but giggled nervously again. She started to draw little flower patterns around the strawberry on her shirt before speaking again. I've, uh, I've always wanted you to... Chase me. Henry blinked a few times, a little confused at her vague explanation and wasn't really sure what to make of it. It sounded simple enough, but he needed more details. So, like a sexy game of tag? He asked curiously. No, uh, more like... Lily paused and humped herself in thought before looking up to him again. 
More like a sexy game of being hunted. Henry leaned back a little and looked down at her with a curious and almost shocked expression as that word echoed in his mind. Hunted didn't sound nearly as nice as chased and only helped to confuse him more. You want me to hunt you down? Like some kind of animal? Mm Mm-hmm. Lily quickly confirmed with an eager and happy nod. I would be the helpless and delicate prey, she explained eagerly, pointing a hoof to herself before pressing the same hoof to Henry's chest. And you, the dangerous and lust-filled predator, here to claim me for his own. Uh, What? Henry asked quietly, taken aback by how excited Lily sounded when she assigned him the vicious predator role in this scenario. He was about to ask another question, but Lily spoke up again, interrupting him. It's actually something I fantasized about a lot, Lily admitted shyly. Sometimes I imagine you coming home one day with a lustful look in your eyes. You know, like the same look you always give me when you're really in the mood. Henry frowned slightly, not knowing he had ever given her such a look but nodded in understanding anyway. Then, you would try and take me right then and there, like some kind of sex-crazed monster, Lily continued as her voice started to waver ever so slightly. Henry's eyes widened in shock. Sex-crazed? He muttered under his breath, feeling conflicted about the creature Lily was imagining him as. It wouldn't matter what I was doing or if I said no, Lily continued, not hearing him as her speech became more heated. I I would run and try to get away, but that wouldn't stop you. You would just be so compelled to ravish me that you would hunt me down no matter what. Her breathing became more labored the longer she talked, and her eyelids fell slightly. Then, once you've caught me... You would try to hold me down and just take me. Sometimes I even imagine you having to tie me up just to get me from stop struggling. She closed her eyes and shivered with pleasure. Then let out a soft and dreamy sigh as she laid her head against his chest. It would be so terrifyingly thrilling. Henry couldn't believe what he was hearing. It was hard for him to grasp that his sweet, timid, and innocent little Lily, who he had known for so long, wanted such an extreme thing done to her. Although, the more he thought about it, the more he started to see the subtle signs that confirmed what she was telling him. He could recall quite a few moments when she would ask him to be rougher on her, or hold her hoof down when they made love. You... really... Want me to do all that to you? Henry asked, sounding unsure as he sat up a little more, so he could look down at her. Lily sat up as well, then furrowed her brow worriedly, picking up on his discomfort. Uh, I would really enjoy it. Henry looked down and waved from her as he tried to process all of this information. He didn't mind that Lily had this kind of fetish, but... Playing the role of the aggressive and unstoppable sex monster was a little unsettling for him. He really wasn't expecting her suggestion for new things to try in bed to be so... unorthodox. From what Henry understood of her fantasy, he was supposed to come out and surprise her with a sudden attack, which made him feel even more uncomfortable. He wasn't sure if he could really be like that for her. And what would happen if something went wrong? Or what if he tried to do this and she just wasn't in the mood? There was no way for him to tell her since her character was supposed to be telling him no and trying to get away. How will I know if you're in the mood to do something like this? Henry asked in concern. Honey, I'm always in the mood. You know that. Lily teased playfully with a sultry gaze. Henry smiled slightly at that feeling a little better. It was true that Lily never rejected him whenever he wanted to make love, 
But there was still that chance she just wouldn't be up for it that day. Picking up on Henry's doubts, Lee placed a gentle hoof on his shoulder, grabbing his attention. We can have a safe word, she suggested softly, trying to reassure him. If for some reason one of us is uncomfortable and wants to stop, then all we have to do is say a certain word that we wouldn't normally say in that conversation. We can make it something like, Orchid? How's that sound? I... I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot, actually. Henry admitted, smiling a bit more. It definitely helped to calm his nerves, knowing they had a failsafe like that. So... You'll try with me? Lily half shouted excitedly, holding both of her hooves to her lips so she could hide her wide and giddy smile. Henry's expression slowly melted into a frown at her question. He wanted to help her live out this fantasy, but every time he thought about her looking up at him in terror with those beautiful golden eyes of hers, he just felt so uneasy. What she wanted was so extreme and different from what they normally did, and it was unclear to him if he was comfortable enough with the idea, or if he could even get into the role at all. He hated forcing himself on anyone or any point for any reason, and even though this was all supposed to be an act, he just couldn't picture himself doing it. It was a very intimidating thought for him to try and act the complete opposite of who he was in such an unnatural and savage way. You're not upset, are you? Lee asked in concern after a long pause of silence. She lowered her hooves back down to the bed, revealing her now more worried expression. I know it's a little unusual, but... No, it's okay. Really. I'm not upset at all. Henry interrupted her quickly, looking towards her as he tried to sound upbeat. I just... I mean, this is all so sudden. Lily's frown deepened, and she let out a soft and sad sigh before perking up again. It's okay, sweetie, she said, then leaned over and kissed him on the cheek. I completely understand if it makes you feel uncomfortable. Henry felt a painful tug at his heart with those words. But, uh, I... He tried to say something, anything to let her know that he wanted to try this, but he just wasn't confident enough. He didn't want to flat out lie to her and say he would do it when he was this uncertain. Lily nuzzled her cheek against his. It's just a silly little fantasy, she pointed out, trying to comfort him. I knew I would be asking a lot from you, and I completely understand if it's too much. It's, it's really not a big deal, so don't worry about it, okay? Henry nuzzled her back affectionately, then responded by nodding his head against hers. They leaned back and batted her eyelashes at him in a suggestive manner. Did you want to... You know... Um, maybe tonight we can just cuddle? Henry asked a little awkwardly. Lily smiled warmly at him. Of course we can. We should be getting some rest anyway. I know you have a big day at the castle tomorrow and I'll be working in the greenhouse the whole time you're gone. I know some of the strawberries that you like so much will be ready for picking by then. She ended with a wink in his direction. I do love my strawberries, Henry replied, forcing a happy smile. Lily turned around and picked up her little Henry plush doll off of the nightstand, then turned back to Henry. Kiss Henry Jr. goodnight, she said happily, holding out the human replica in front of him. Henry smiled softly before kissing the plushie on his forehead. Good night, Henry Jr. Lily pressed the doll into her chest, cuddling it tightly before leaning forward, kissing Henry on the lips, which he gladly reciprocated. She lingered there for a moment, then pulled back. Good night, Henry, she cooed lovingly. Good night, sweetie. Henry replied with a loving smile, running a hand through her silky smooth and well-maintained mane. Lily flashed him a soft smile before turning back around, then laid on her side. With a couple awkward squirms, she scooted her small self back into a much larger body, getting herself more comfortable. 
Henry wrapped his arm around her, pulling her closer to him as he laid his chin on top of her mane. They cuddled together like that until Lily slowly drifted off into a deep sleep, still holding onto Henry Jr. in her forelegs. Unfortunately, sleep didn't come so easily for Henry. He lay there, wide awake as he gently caressed his sleeping mare friend. His mind couldn't stop thinking about her wild fantasy that he was too uncertain to help her live out. Henry awoke the next morning to a pre-made breakfast of warm oatmeal with banana slices and a glass of milk that Lily made for him, just like she did every morning. He ate his meal and ran through his normal routine of cleaning himself up and getting ready for work. Once he was ready, he picked up his briefcase and thanked Lily for the oatmeal, kissing her goodbye before heading to work. As soon as he reached the castle, he entered into the west wing where his office was located. He then looked over the new pile of papers on his desk that still needed to be reviewed and then filed away before sitting down with an exhausted groan. He sighed deeply, knowing that today was going to be a long one, not because of all the paperwork that still needed to be finished, but because his mind couldn't stop thinking about Lily. It was going to be hard for him to focus on anything else throughout the day, and he knew it. Just then, Henry heard a knock on the wall of his office, causing him to turn his head to the open entryway. Standing there was a small purple and green dragon with a warm smile and a large white box of what appeared to be donuts from Donut Joe's in his claws. Sup, Henry? A friendly and cheerful dragon called to him as he walked into the office, holding out the open box of fried dough confectionaries in front of him. Twilight told me you were going to be busy today, so I figured you could use some energy. Henry brightened up seeing Spike there, one of his only male friends in this crazy town filled with mostly female ponies. Oh, you have no idea, he said tiredly, holding out a fist which Spike quickly bumped with his free claw. He didn't eye at the box of donuts, seeing that it was mostly empty, but quickly saw what he wanted and reached out to grab the strawberry jelly filled one. I figured you'd go for that. Spike said with a cocky smirk. I had to fight Twilight off just to save it for you, so you owe me, buddy. Henry chuckled before taking a bite of the delicious fried dough, letting the gooey strawberry filling coat his taste buds in its rich flavor. He closed his eyes and let a soft sigh of delight as the familiar confident taste helped him to feel more relaxed. Mm hmm I really needed that. Uh, thanks, Spike. Of course, dude. Got your back. Spike reached the claw into the box he was still holding and picked out the last gemstone sprinkled donut, then closed it. Though, I'll never understand your obsession with strawberries. Henry simply shrugged his shoulders, taking another calming bite of his treat. Spike took a loud, crunchy bite of his donut and munched it a few times before trying to speak again. <laughs> Henry simply stared at Spike with a confused look. What was that? Spike chews his food a little more and swallowed it. I said, you look pretty tired. Is everything okay? I'll be fine. Henry reassured him, covering up a yawn with his hand. I just didn't get a lot of sleep last night. How come? Spike asked curiously. Henry paused at this question, thinking if he could actually tell Spike what was on his mind about his mare friend. Being able to talk to some pony about his predicament would definitely help him, and Spike was indeed a good friend. Only problem was that the little dragon was still very young, even though at times he acted a lot older than Twilight claimed his true age was. He might still be able to talk about things if he left out a few details. That way, he could still get his concerns off of his chest. Well, mm, I was up most of the night thinking about Lily. Oh, mayor troubles? Spike said with an understanding nod. I've been there. No, uh, there's no trouble, really, Henry corrected him. It's more about... Ah, uh, well... She wants 
to do something with me, but I'm not really sure I can do it for her. Why not? Spike asked, giving him a curious and confused look. Uh, well, um... Henry started to explain, but hesitated as he pieced together what he wanted to say. It... Uh, kind of makes me uncomfortable. I want to do it for her and make her happy, but I just can't see myself getting into it like she wants me to. Spike scratched the scales on the top of his head. Have you tried this... Uh, uh, thing with her yet? Well, no, not yet. So what's the problem? Spike asked innocently. Uh, mm, well, it's just that... Uh, Henry was at a loss for words on how to answer that question without flat out saying what Lily wanted. Why don't you at least give it a try? Spike asked bluntly. You never know. You might end up liking it. I mean, if Rarity asked me to do something with her that I was uncomfortable with, I would at least give it a chance. Harry blinked a few times at that. It's not that simple. Uh, what she wants is... Well, it's just so much different from what we normally do together. Yeah, and? Spike asked, putting on a sterner expression. No offense, dude, but you're kind of boring. Henry's eyes widened in shock at Spike's brutal honesty, not sure how to even respond to him. Sometimes it's good to try new things, Spike continued, reaching his claw into the box he was holding. I mean, come on, dude. Life's way too short to be doing the same thing over and over again. He finished by pulling out another donut and popping it into his mouth, then chewed it quickly. You really think I'm that boring? Henry asked, sounding hurt. Spike nodded, swallowing his food. I know you are. I've seen you at the parties you show up to with Lily. When you're not with her or her sisters, you just hang out in the back and keep to yourself the whole time. You should come out more and have some fun for once. Have you even had fun before? What? Henry asked in shock. Of course I have fun before. Spike shrugged his shoulders. I just think you need to get out more and not be so afraid to try different things. And whatever this thing that Lily wants you to do, I think you should at least give it a chance. Henry frowned and looked back down at his still half-eaten donut, thinking that Spike might have a point. He never was one for trying anything that was too out of the ordinary in his life. We should hang out more too, Spike added, causing Henry to look up at him again. It would be awesome if you joined Big Mac and me at the next hoofball game. I know you like it. Henry wasn't really into sport and didn't know Big Mac all that well, but he took Spike's advice to heart and figured now would be a good a time as any to start getting out more. Sure, I'd love to join you guys sometime. Sweet! We'll set something up then, Spike said as he turned and walked out of his office. I do, and good luck with the mayor friend stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks. Henry muttered softly as Spike turned the corner, leaving him alone with his thoughts and half-eaten donut. With a heavy sigh, he put the sugary confectionery aside and turned back to his work. The rest of the day was a bit of a struggle for Henry. He just couldn't stop thinking about Lily and what Spike had so honestly and brutally pointed out to him. But by some miracle, he was able to finish his work once the day came to an end. With his suitcase in hand, Henry made his way home. Along the way, he started to recall exactly how much Lily was enjoying herself when she was simply talking about her fantasy. He truly wanted to help her live out this wild fetish of hers in some way, but he had such a hard time finding the motivation to do something so unconventional with her. Henry slowed his pace as he continued to ponder to himself, traveling down the dirt road that led to his home. He thought Spike brought up some good points about his personal life and his antisocial tendencies, but the little dragon was unaware of what Lily really wanted him to do. The idea of forcing himself on his mayor friend was still an unpleasant one, but did that really matter in a situation like this? 
This was supposed to be Lily's fantasy, not his. Sure, he might feel uneasy about the whole thing, but this wasn't about him. The whole point of this roleplay was to make Lily happy by helping her live out one of her deepest and darkest fantasies she wouldn't be able to do otherwise. After all, he would want her to do the same for him if he ever had such a desire. Not only that, but he loved Lily, and he wanted to make her happy in any way he could. If this unusual kink of hers could make her happy, then... Come on, Henry. It can't be that bad, Henry said to himself as added encouragement. Remembering Spike's words about giving things a try, it was very possible that he could actually enjoy himself if he got into the role of the lust crazed monster, even though that seemed very unlikely. Henry's journey was quickly coming to an end once he turned the corner where the quills and sofa shops was and saw his home come into view. It was then that he decided to bite the bullet and make his mare friend happy, even if it wasn't his cup of tea. Only problem was his acting skills were zero to none, and he wasn't very confident that he could play his part for Lily like she truly wanted him to. Coming up to his home, Henry stopped Justin from the door and stared down at the handle, furrowing his brow in deep thought. Okay, Henry. You just have to let your primal side out. He closed his eyes and took in a deep breath, letting his whole body relax. You can do this. Just picture yourself as some kind of horrible, vicious thing. Soon, an image of a muscular, hairy, hominid, wolf-like creature appeared in his mind. The thing was hunched over while its large, dagger-like claws dragged on the ground. Thick globs of drool slowly dripped down from its razor-sharp fangs as it snarled loudly with a menacing scowl. Its red eye glowed brightly with an unsatisfied lust as it stalked around in the shadows, waiting for its unsuspecting victim to come trotting by. Henry winced at the mental image. He wasn't sure why he pictured himself as a werewolf, but it seemed to fit the role. Sadly, the monster he envisioned himself as was doing little to help motivate him, or even get him into his character. He was even less sure he could go through with this than he was before, but he couldn't give up. Keeping his eyes closed, Henry took in a long, calming breath, thinking of a different way to approach this dilemma, or at least get him in the mood. Soon, an image of his beautiful mare friend appeared in his mind. She was wearing what looked like a typical black and white maid's outfit, complete with a long and flowing skirt that draped down her backside. Oh, Master Henry, the flustered Lily Maid cooed shyly. You're home early. Please forgive me, but I wasn't able to finish cleaning the house. I, I was just so... so distracted. She slowly turned herself around and peered behind her as she lightly swayed her hips back and forth. I couldn't stop thinking about you, Lily whispered softly. As her tail started to raise up, taking her long, frilly skirt with it, revealing a pair of white cotton panties underneath. The thin undergarments fit snugly around her shapely flanks and plump vulva, outlining every soft mound and crevice of her most sacred place. They were completely soaked with her arousal, making it easy to see the light pink of her winking entrance contrasting with the darker pink of her coat through the fabric, leaving nothing to the imagination. Please... Lily said with a hint of wanting and desperation as she reached back and pulled her wet panties to the side with a hoof. I need you, master. That did it. Sweet Celestia did that do it. Henry opened his eyes, already feeling his members starting to swell and ache in anticipation for what was to come. He was incredibly horny now and felt more confident about going through with this but still hesitant. 
with his heart pounding in his chest, he put on a determined scowl, ignoring how nervous he felt and he slowly opened the front door, then walked into his living room. Instantly, his senses were hit with the familiar flowery aroma of all the parted plants that decorated his home. But he didn't have time to enjoy it. He needed to find Lily, or rather, his prey. Welcome home, honey! Lily's sweet and loving voice called from his left. I'm in the kitchen cleaning up. Henry could feel his hands start to tremble, but he did his best to ignore it and took in a calming breath trying to mimic the lustful look Lily described him doing last night. He gently set his briefcase down by the front door and slowly made his way over to the kitchen, then stood in the entrance. His sights quickly found his target leaning over the counter as she washed her hooves in the sink. She was wearing her light green apron that she always used whenever she worked in her greenhouse. There was also a glass bowl of what appeared to be freshly picked strawberries on the counter, letting him know that she must have just finished up working in her garden. Next to that was a loaf of sliced bread and some daisies, making him think that she was about to make herself a snack. Lily shut the faucet off, then proceeded to pat her hooves dry on the washcloth that was next to the sink. I was thinking about making a nice salad for supper tonight. Would that be okay with you? Lily finished drying her hooves, then turned to face him, stepping off the counter with a joyful smile. I gathered a bunch of fresh strawberries from the garden for you so we can use them in the salad. What do you think? Henry said nothing, still giving her what he thought was a salacious expression as he stared into her bright golden eyes. His heart raced and his nerves began to eat at him, causing him to second guess what he was about to do, but he pushed the thoughts aside. Lily raised a curious eyebrow at him. Are you okay, dear? She asked, blissfully unaware of his actions. What? Is there some dirt on my face? She placed a hoof on her cheek and fell around for anything she might have missed when washing up. Henry wasn't sure what to do now. She wasn't understanding his motives, and he had no idea what to say. With nothing coming to mind, he continued to just stare letting his hungry eyes wander over her shapely form. She really did look gorgeous wearing that green apron. He always admired how well it matched her beautiful pink coat. Oh, sweet Luna, did he want her. After a few short moments of awkward silence, Lily dropped her hoof down slightly, frowning as she stared into Henry's eyes. Honey, what's the matter? Why are you... Uh, you. Her voice trailed off, and her eyes started to slowly widen as she noticed something. She carefully studied his gaze for a short moment, then gasped softly in disbelief. Her legs started to tremble, and she took a couple of small steps away from him. Uh, Henry? She whispered quietly, sounding confused and even frightened. Henry instantly hated the look she was giving him. Already he felt like a monster and despised feeling, but this was what she wanted. Now all he needed was some hint that she wanted this to continue, or for her to say the safe word so he would know to stop. Just anything to let him know that she understood what he was doing. Stay back, Lily said in a terrified whisper, taking another backward step causing her rump to press up against the cabinet under the sink. There it was. With those simple words, Henry knew that Lily wanted this. She was already in her character of the helpless prey, and now he was the vicious monster, here to take her and claim her as his own. There was no going back now. With a soft, unconvincing growl, Henry took a small step forward, keeping his gaze locked with his prey. Keep away from me! Lee shouted as she grabbed the loaf of bread from behind her, then threw it right at his head. Henry's eyes widened in surprise, and he quickly dodged the airborne loaf by ducking out of the way. While he was momentarily distracted, Lily ran past him and entered into the living room, galloping on the soft carpet as fast as she could. 
realizing what just happened, Henry straightened himself before turning around to see where she ran off to, but she was long gone. Holy shit, she's fast. Henry thought to himself as he tried to guess where she might have gone. The living room led to so many different rooms in the house. She could be in any one of them. Just as he was about to take off into a random room, Henry heard the familiar sound of the loud squeaking of the greenhouse door opening and closing, letting him know exactly where she was. He quickly ran through the house, then down the long hall that led to the greenhouse. Once he reached the end, he flung the door open and stepped inside. Standing in the entrance, Henry looked around the large glass room, seeing nothing but aisles upon aisles of different flowers, fruits, and vegetables. There was no doubt in his mind that Lily was hiding from him in this well-maintained forest. Now what do I do? Henry thought as he continued to scan the area for any signs of where Lily might be hiding, but saw nothing. There was only one thing he could do in a situation like this, and that was to hunt her down. But how? He would just have to roll with it. Reminding himself that he was supposed to be a vicious predator in this scenario, he tried to think of something his character might say in this situation. I know you're in here, little pony. He said in the deepest, most brooding voice he could muster, to sound intimidating and scary. You can't get away from me. He then shut the only exit of the greenhouse behind him before locking it. Once the door was secure, Henry slowly stalked around the aisles of various plants, looking up and down for the mare, but couldn't find her anywhere. This went on for a while before he started to feel frustrated both mentally and sexually. He was still unbelievably horny, and this slow game of cat and mouse wasn't helping things. Lily was in no way making this easy for him, and she knew this place like the back of her hoof. This was her new greenhouse that he made for her, where she worked every day to grow her flowers that she sold for her sisters. So how was he supposed to find her in here? This little roleplay was turning into a much bigger endeavor than he originally thought it would be. Grunting softly in annoyance, Henry tried to think of a different way to go about finding Lily. He closed his eyes to help him think and took in a deep, calming breath through his nose. As soon as he did, he noticed something peculiar hanging in the air. It was mixed with the scent of the wet soil and various plant life around him. But it was still there, and he recognized its sweet, fruity aroma instantly. Lily's musk. Henry's eyes opened, and he took another whiff, and Lily's oh-so-enjoyable and arousing fragrance guide him as he stalked through the aisles. His heart started to beat faster in his chest as the scent of her excitement became more apparent, overpowering the earthy smell of the soil and flowers in the room. He was on the right path and truly felt like a real predator stalking his prey. Feeling as if some deep primal urge had awoken within him. It felt strange to him and he couldn't quite explain it, but in some weird and twisted way, he liked it. Henry stopped once Lily's scent was at its strongest. She had to be somewhere close by, but when he looked around, he saw nothing but an empty aisle with a tall wall of tomato plants to his right and a smaller wall of green beans to his left. Feeling ever more sexually frustrated from smelling Lily's arousal this whole time, Henry groaned under his breath as his eyes wandered through the plants, but he still couldn't find her. Since his eyes were failing him, he decided to try to get his other senses to take over. Listening carefully to the ambient sounds of the greenhouse, he could hear the automatic drip system running in the background alongside the gentle rapping of branches outside, tapping against the glass walls as the trees swayed in the wind. He could even hear the birds singing outside, and it surprised him how much he could actually pick up when he focused on it. But there was something else there. Something amongst the harmonious sounds of the greenhouse that didn't quite match with everything else in the room. 
and it wasn't coming from him. It sounded like breathing. Henry focused in on the new sound. It was soft and barely audible, as if it was being muffled by a cloth or something similar. But it was there. It was coming from, from behind him, to his right. A wide and devilish smirk slowly made its way to his lips as his excitement grew from his new discovery. Slowly, Henry took a few steps back until the soft sound of muffled panting was next to him. He then turned his head to the right, towards the wall's tall tomato plants before looking down. What he saw there, deep between the foliage, was a pair of trembling and frightened golden eyes peering up at him. Found you. Lily screamed in fright, quickly jumping out from behind the tomato plants. As soon as her hoofs hit the ground, she burst into a wild sprint down the aisle, heading straight for the only exit. In a panic, Henry tried to jump after her, but missed, falling flat on his face. With an aggravated grunt, he quickly pushed himself up and saw that Lily was already halfway to the exit. With his adrenaline rushing and not wanting to lose his prey again, he sprang into a fierce run. Lily made it to the door and attempted to open it with her hooves, but it was still locked. Oh no! She cried down in terror as she frantically tried to unlock it. Seeing Lily struggling caused Henry to push himself harder, taking his opportunity to catch up with her. No, 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 no. Lily whimpered softly in a panic, frantically fumbling with the lock as Henry closed in. Just then, a soft clicking sound could be heard, and without any hesitation, she flung the door open and bolted inside. Henry reached his hand out and grabbed at her, but only caught air as her two-toned amber tail disappeared between the door right before it closed on his face. He braced himself for impact and slammed against the exit, but quickly recovered, opening the door to see that Lily was already halfway down the hall. He was not going to lose her again. Wasting no time, Henry sprinted after her, letting his primal lust drive him as he pushed himself. The intoxicating scent of his prey lingered behind her, only encouraging him more. Having a decent lead, Lily reached out in the hall and without slowing down, turned the corner and entered the living room. Henry soon followed, catching a glimpse of her tail flicking back and forth as it disappeared under the large wooden coffee table in the center of the living room. Thinking quick, he dived after her, grabbing the tip of her tail before it could vanish completely. Lady let out a terrified squeak and quickly squirmed her way out from under the table. Her smooth and silky hair slipped out of Henry's weak grasp, adding to his frustration. With an aggressive growl, Henry pushed himself up. Seeing Lily run out from under the table, then duck behind his large, custom-made lounge chair that was against the wall. He ran up to it and easily pushed the furniture aside, revealing the terrified earth pony behind it. Lily shrieked in surprise, frantically scrambling backwards. Keep away from me, you beast! She shouted, jumping to her hooves before taking off towards the stairs. Henry's eyes widened when he saw her head for the second story of the house. This could be his chance to finally catch her. He knew he could climb those stairs a lot faster than her, and he sprang into action, quickly giving chase. Lily reached the first step, but stumbled over her own hooves in her hysteria. <sighs> she gasped, but quickly recovered, and started to desperately clamber up the tall set of steps. Henry reached the stairs soon after, hauling her hooves. She was so close to her now, so tantalizingly close, he could practically feel the immense heat emanating from her body. He wanted to feel that amazing warmth against him, and he was just within arm's reach of his beautiful prize. With his adrenaline pumping, he gripped the staircase railing for added support and leverage as he pumped his legs even harder up the steps, slowly closing in on her. Lily's luring, shapely flanks flexed and swayed hypnotically in front of Henry with every desperate step she climbed. 
He caught teasing glimpses of her glistening mare hood as her tail flicked in the air behind her, taunting him endlessly. He could practically taste her sweet essence, causing his mouth to water as thoughts of dipping his tongue into her warm, moist flower clouded his mind. He wanted her. No, he needed her. Seeing the top of the stairs drawing nearer, Henry knew he had to act fast if he was going to catch her. Giving it his all, he extended his hand out, desperately trying to grab her wildly flailing tail with little success. His frustration mounted, and in a last-ditch effort, he lunged himself forward. As soon as he felt her silk-like hair touch his palm, he gripped down tightly, not wanting to let her slip out of his fingers a second time. Just as Lily reached the top floor, she tried to jump into a sprint, but Henry pulled her tail taut, causing her to yelp in surprise and trip over herself as she was yanked down. She fell flat on the soft, fuzzy carpet next to the second-story railing that was connected to the stairs. No! Lily cried in despair, turned to crawl away, but it was no use. Henry kept her pinned, holding her back as he walked up the last few steps until he, too, was on the second floor. He towered over the helpless mare, panting heavily as he kept his firm grip on her tail. He stood there, taking a moment to study his prey. Lily's pristine pink coat glistened with beads of sweat as her chest expanded in and out. Her breathing was just as labored as his, and yet she was still struggling to get away trying desperately to crawl forward to freedom as she attempted to pull her tail out of his grip, but he wouldn't let go. As depraved as it was, Henry could feel his erection growing from the sight. His manhood ached, demanding to be set free so he could claim his captured prize. He had never been so turned on before in his life. He felt so alive. Once it was clear to Lily that she wasn't getting away, she turned her head and looked up to her captor with pleading and frightened eyes. Please, let me go. She begged in a soft whimper, still trying to pull her tail out from his firm grasp. Henry said nothing for a moment, eyeing his timid prey with hungry eyes as he reveled in the feeling of a successful hunt. He smirked ever so slightly before saying something to her that he rarely ever did with a deep, booing voice. No. He immediately knelt down and pulled her towards him, causing her to cry out in terror as she was dragged back. She desperately tried to crawl away and escape, but her hooves kept slipping on the carpet. Once she was close enough, Henry flipped her on her back and loomed over her tiny figure with his much larger physique. She quivered in fright with a soft whimper beneath him, holding her hooves over her barrel, pinning her green apron to her chest in a defensive manner. Henry let his eyes drift down Lily's beautiful form, coming to a stop at her waist. He growled in annoyance when he saw that her apron was blocking him from what he craved the most. He reached his hand down so he could pull the teasing green fabric away, but was quickly interrupted when Lily's hooves came into view, covering the area he was going for. Y you can't! Lily stuttered nervously. Henry snarled, baring his teeth as he grabbed both of her forehooves, pinning them back against the floor next to her head. N -n -n Lily cried with a shiver before clenching her hind legs shut, twisting her hips away from him. Growling in frustration, Henry pushed both of Lily's forehooves above her head, then used one hand to pin them in place while his other tried to pry her back legs open. But Lily wouldn't concede so easily. She twisted her hips left and right, making it difficult for him to get a good grip. Even when he did manage to get a hold of her, he couldn't open her legs with only one limb. He was so close to what he desired, but she wouldn't give up without a fight, fueling his lust even further. After struggling with her a little while longer, Henry couldn't take it anymore. With an angry, feral growl, he grabbed the apron on her chest and quickly ripped it off her body completely. Lily shrieked in horror as her only protection was so savagely ripped away from her. 
Without wasting any time, Henry wrapped both of her forehooves together with the ripped fabric and tied them to the railing she was lying next to. N no Lily whimpered in a frightened stutter as she tested the strength of her bondage, tugging her hooves back a few times. B please don't do this. You can't. Henry ignored her pleas, letting his sight drift back to what he desired. Seeing that her hind legs were still tightly pressed together, using both hands now, he quickly grabbed her thighs and tried to pry them apart, but Lily wouldn't give, making her incredible earth pony strike known. Ah, uh, you can't. Lily stuttered as they struggled. Henry could feel her strength leaving her as he slowly inched her thighs open. With a loud roar, he put all his power into his chest and arms, causing her hind legs to finally give out and open, leaving her completely exposed to him. N no! Lily half cried, half moaned. Don't look! Ignoring Lily's demand, Henry took in her exposed and panting figure while keeping her hind legs forced apart. His eyes followed the fit curve of her belly, leading him to her petite breasts that lay nestled between her legs. Her darker pink nipples stood out against the lighter pink of her coat as he admired them as they glistened with beads of sweat. As much as he loved her small breasts, he had to tear his eyes away from them for what he truly desired was only mere inches away. Licking his lips, Henry eyed her small and exquisite flower. She was already wet, practically dripping with arousal. Her moist folds winked at him in what he knew was anticipation and excitement, showing off her light pink and glistening pearl as it pulsed out from under her fleshy hood, his mouth beginning to salivate from the sight. No longer able to restrain himself, Henry laid down on his stomach between Lily's hind legs, then wrapped both his arms under and around her thighs. He held her there, completely exposed to him, so he could enjoy his treat and have his way with her. Please, Lily begged softly, interrupting Henry just as he was about to indulge in his treat. She tried to wiggle her hips out of his grasp, but his strong arms held her in place. Please, please don't eat me. Henry gave an eager, malnourished growl, flashing Lily with his sharp canines in response. Her body trembled in his arms, and she whimpered helplessly at the sight. Without wasting any more time, he quickly leaned down and firmly licked the outer folds of her mare hood. Lily gasped sharply and shuddered from the sudden contact. N no, she practically moaned, trying to wiggle her hips out from his clutches a second time, but he held fast, keeping her completely open and vulnerable. Henry closed his eyes and let his tongue slip back into his mouth. As soon as he did, his taste buds were instantly rewarded with a familiar, sweet, and slightly tangy flavor of strawberries. He used to like the taste of the red fruit before he started dating Lily, but now he loved it. He could never get enough of the small, inadequate sample he gathered from her as it did little to quench his thirst. Opening his eyes again, he pressed his lips against Lily's quivering entrance, dipping his tongue deep into her slick love tunnel. Lily cried out in horror, squirming slightly while his firm muscle lapped at her insides with a fierce hunger. <sighs> you monster! Henry basked in the sound coming from his captured prey while he enjoyed the rewards of a successful hunt. He had eaten Lily out plenty of times before, but somehow, she tasted sweeter to him now, more satisfying in a way. It made him want to drink from her sweet honey pot even more, causing him to press harder into her sex. Lee shut her eyes tightly and bit her bottom lip hard, trying desperately to hold back all the lewd sounds she was making. 
She tugged and struggled against her bonds with what little strength she could muster. Like her muffled moans filled the room as his broad muscles wormed its way deeper inside of her convulsing passageway. Henry wanted more, but his tongue just wasn't fast enough nor efficient enough to sate his seemingly limitless craving. Moving quickly, he gave her slit one long, antagonizing lick then fastened his lips around her pulsating clit in the middle of a hard wink. He immediately started to suckle on her pink, fleshy nub, swallowing all the juices that collected in his maw. Ah! Lily cried out loudly in surprise, giving up on trying to suppress her moans while Henry continued to draw her delicate bun deeper into his tightly pressed lips. She tried to flex her muscles, in a vain attempt to dislodge herself from his hungry mouth, but it only helped to encourage him more, causing him to double his efforts. Her body tensed up and her hind legs kicked out, quivering within the powerful grasp he had on her as he continued to suckle on her with an unquenchable thirst. Her juices flowed freely as her excitement grew from his actions, feeding him even more. Henry squeezed Lily's trembling thighs, humming around his mouthful in pure delight from the satisfying meal he was receiving. She continued to struggle against him and cry out in pleasure, driving him absolutely insane, adding to his burning primal lust and desire. His erection ached to the point of becoming painful, making his pants increasingly more uncomfortable to wear. He couldn't wait under second. After releasing Lily's tender clint, Henry let go of her hind legs, then got to his knees. Her body fell limp on the floor before him, and she lay there, panting heavily after the overly stimulating ordeal she was forced to endure. He quickly started to unbuckle his belt, causing the slightly dazed mare in front of him to slowly lift her heavy eyelids. Her eyes instantly shone open, and she gasped in terror when she saw him throw his belt to the side. Immediately after, she started to struggle against her bonds again, desperately trying to free herself. No! Lily cried in horror as he started to unbutton his pants. You can't do this, you horrible creature! Henry let his pants and his boxers fall to his knees. Henry let his pants and boxers fall to his knees, freeing his frothing member from its constricting fabric prison. He loomed over his victim again, holding her hips in place with one hand or using his other to line himself up with her dripping entrance. Already, he could feel the incredible heat radiating from her, warming his sensitive crown as he came within mere centimeters of her quivering folds. He wanted her so bad in that moment, but before he could go any farther, Lily interrupted him. No, you can't. You can't put that inside me. Lily protested weakly. Please, you just can't. I'm, I'm saving myself for my co friend. Henry paused at that, blinking a few times in confusion. He was her cult friend, or at least he was the last time he checked. Not only that, but he knew for a fact that they had sex many, many times before. Was this just a part of her character that she wanted to play? Did she fantasize about being the innocent virgin as well as the helpless prey in this scenario? Whatever her reason, he decided to just roll with it. Grinning wickedly, Henry rubbed his tip along Lily's lust-soaked petal, parting them along his girth, triggering a shaky gasp from his helpless prey. You better forget about your cult friend, little pony, he whispered maliciously before licking his lips, cleaning off what remained of his past meal. You're mine now. One quick thrust, he forced nearly half of his member into a tight, slick passage easily pushing past her resistance. No! Lily cried out, throwing her head back as she was so suddenly split apart. 
Her vaginal muscles spasmed around his invading length, trying desperately to accommodate him as he entered so abruptly. She bit her lip and tried to push him back out, but it was useless with how wet she was. He continued to push forward regardless of her fight, stretching her in her walls around his exotic shape. Relief washed over Henry's aching member as he worked his way into her soft but incredibly tight, constricting depths. He groaned loudly in delight, basking in the soothing pleasure of her warm, feminine embrace as he longed for all this time, wanting nothing more than to be held there within her completely. Once he managed to force a little over half of his erection inside of her, he pulled his hip back, then quickly thrust himself forward, the sound wet skin slapping against what fur echoed throughout the house once their hips collided. Ah! Lily practically screamed, arching her back up off the ground once his tip kissed her deepest barrier, stretching her to the very root around his unyielding masculinity. Her body locked up and trembled as her inner walls gripped down on his throbbing member, trapping him against her cervix. Henry clenched her eyes shut and groaned at the sudden intense pressure, having to brace himself by planting both his hands on the carpeted floor next to her. His hips were then splashed with a warm liquid, much to his surprise. Her tight passage began to convulse around him, massaging his length while continuously coating his lower half with small squirts of her liquid arousal. All the while, her body shook beneath him with every wave of ecstasy that shot through her smaller form. Once Henry felt her start to relax, he opened his eyes to look down at her in amazement. Did... Did you come? He asked in shock after a short pause, breaking his character for a moment. Lily opened her eyes slightly to peer at him and closed them again. Too weak to do anything else. She simply nodded her answer, still trying to catch her breath from her orgasm. Henry couldn't believe it. For as long as they had been together, he has never been able to get Lily to climax like that in such a short amount of time. She really did enjoy this role-playing thing. He watched his exhausted mare friend in wonderment for a little longer before his members gave an eager throb within her snapping him back to reality. He was still incredibly hard, and more importantly, he still hadn't properly claimed his captured prey. Getting himself back into his predatory role, Henry grinned before leaning down, letting his lips come within inches of Lily's ear. I'm not finished yet, little pony. He whispered in a deep, brooding voice, pulling his hips back. Lily's eyes snapped open and she gasped out in shock, squeezing down on his escaping length, unintentionally trying to draw him back in. Y you beast! She whimpered weakly. Henry bit his lip, feeling a jolt of pleasure run up his spine as his sensitive crown scraped against her silken, rippling walls. He pulled out until just his tip was left inside leaving a thin coat of her slick essence that traces his length, enhancing the uncomfortable feeling of the cold, empty air in the room. He didn't want to be outside of her for a millisecond longer. With a determined growl, he slammed back into her welcoming warmth with an audible wet slap as their hips collided. <sighs> Lily stuttered in surprise, her hind legs bucking at nothing once he hilted himself inside of her for a second time. Her overly sensitive mirrors convulsed around him, kneading his length while trying to take him deeper into her core, unwilling to let him go. Please, you can, she said in a soft, shaky whimper, fidgeting with her bound hooves in an attempt to free them. Henry leaned further over his prey, quickly pulling his hips back before giving a more vigorous thrust forward, 
their hips slammed together once more, causing her body to rock forward from its increase in power. Lily gasped sharply at his sudden aggression. Her soft and silky tail thrashed between his legs as a shiver ran through her. She tried to contort and wiggle her body in an attempt to dislodge him while flexing her lower abdomen muscles to try and push him back out. But her actions only helped to stimulate him even more. He growled in pleasure, ramming his hips into her even harder, pushing her body up against the floor. Ah, uh, no, no, <laughs> please, please let me go. Henry bared his teeth and snarled loudly in Lily's ear as his response, not liking the idea of ever releasing her. He gripped her sides firmly in order to keep from sliding, pulling her back and holding her in place so he could properly claim her. He started to move his hips again, working slowly at first but quickly picking up speed. Her juices flowed freely, trickling out of her squeezing narrow passage, coating his length with even more of her natural lubricant. This allowed him to move in and out of her blissfully tight entrance with more ease and he took the opportunity to build up a steady rhythm, slamming himself to the hilt every time he entered her. Lily whimpered helplessly as their hips repeatedly slapped together. She tried in vain to wiggle or roll away from him in a last-ditch effort to break free, but her actions made him grip her even tighter. His fingers dug into her soft coat, causing her to gasp out in terror. You can't... <sighs> you can't do this. Henry ignored her pleas, nostrils flaring as he inhaled the intoxicating scent of their combined musk and sweat, further fueling his primal lust. His mind fogged over with a blurry haze of pleasure and lust, leaving only one simple and barbaric thought that echoed in his mind. Ravish and breed. Nothing else mattered to him any more, and he growled with a burning desire increasing his speed as he jackhammered his hips into her, battering her tender insides with his iron-like girth. Lily cried out loudly in horrified delight before biting her lower lip, almost hard enough to draw blood as waves of mini-orgasms rocked her smaller form, causing her body to twitch. Her marrowhood spasmed around his stiff, thrusting member, suckling at him, eagerly every time he tried to pull out. She shook her head from side to side before pressing her tight cheek against the carpeted floor, squeaking softly with each powerful and sex-crazed thrust he slammed into her. Henry grunted, feeling her heated nethers tug at his leg urgently, coaxing him to move faster. He let go of her sides and laid down even more, snoring hot air onto the side of her neck as he wrapped his arms under her damp body. He continued to move in and out of her, holding her against him tightly as he worked. Lily quivered within his powerful grasp once her chest pressed up against his. She tried to squirm beneath him, but his powerful grip around her wouldn't allow it, proving how helpless she truly was in the situation. She couldn't get away even if she wanted to. Her hind legs bucked and trembled uncontrollably, making up for limited mobility as she continued to let out muffled cries and squeaks of pleasure into the room. Henry could already feel his climax building deep within him. His members started to throb and swell within his prey, which she immediately took notice of. N no Lily whimpered weakly, trying once again to escape but remained pinned to his powerful and sweaty body. You, you can't. Not inside. Please. Henry snarled in response, letting his primal side take over completely. With only one goal in mind, he leaned down and bit the side of her neck, digging his sharp canines into her glistening coat. No. <sighs> Lily wailed, trembling in his powerful arms. 
her already small and constricting passage squeezed out on him instantly from his action, almost hard enough to slow his movement, but it only encouraged him more. Henry kept up his speed and steady, relentless rhythm, determined to claim her. His mind started to blank, drunk with the thoughts of wanting nothing more than to fill her with absolutely everything he had. His end was drawing even closer now, causing his motions to slow down, but his vigor increased immensely. He ramped his hip against hers with firm, powerful thrusts each time, causing her hips to bounce upward. Lee yelped each time they collided. Her body tensed up and her tail thrashed wildly between his legs, slapping against his thighs. Her inner walls clenched and spasmed around him eagerly as her own orgasm made itself known yet again, massaging him in ways only her warm depths could. No, you, you can't do this, she argued weakly between her heavy pants in a last-ditch effort to stop him as he continued to ravish her. Please, not inside. Henry panted heavily against her gorgeous pink coat, still trapped between his teeth. His nostrils flared, filling his lungs with his prey's needy musk, driving him to the brink of sex-crazed insanity. His motions became more erratic and jerky once his heavy and full sack lifted up into his body, signaling his end. You're mine. Henry snarled loudly in a deep brooding voice around his mouthful of fur, pressing his teeth harder into her flesh. Ah. <sighs> Lily wailed as Henry gave two more urgent thrusts forward before burrowing himself inside her as far as he could go. Her hips lifted off the ground as he crammed his tip against her deepest barrier. Henry's whole body tensed up on top of her and he let out a deep, throaty roar. His crown flared against her cervix before all of his tension finally broke and exploded deep within her. Thick bursts of liquid warmth erupted from his pulsating member, instantly coating her insides in his essence. Ah, 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 ah. He screamed, throwing her head back as she was suddenly filled, sending her over the edge once more. Her body locked up and quivered as her mare hook wildly convulsed around his throbbing length, prolonging his orgasm as her tight passage literally milked him for every last drop he had. Henry groaned loudly as rope after rope of his orgasm found its new home deep within his prey, quickly flooding her small, well-stretched passage to capacity before dripping out from their union. Their combining juices mixed and spilled from her quivering lips, trickling down her round backside before soaking into her twitching amber tail. Lily's cries tapered off into a low moan of pure bliss as Henry's climax started to die down. Her hips slowly lowered back to the ground, but he kept himself buried to the base, releasing weaker and weaker spurts of his warm seed deep within her. Henry shuddered as the last of his climax dribbled out from his tip and pulled within his mare friend's eager depths. He let go of her neck and loosened his grip around her before nuzzling her cheek against his tenderly. Soft moans escaped his lips between every gasp of breath he took while her mare hood continued to suckle at his sensitive and slowly wilting length. Lily cooed in delight as she closed her eyes and rubbed her cheek against Henry's lovingly. Both of them fell limp as they basked in the afterglow of their lovemaking, enjoying each other's closeness. The room fell into a peaceful silence, with only the sounds of their labored breathing filling the still air of their home. After a short moment... Lily lifted her lips to Henry's cheek and kissed him tenderly before whispering softly in his ear. Thank you. Henry chuckled weakly, still trying to catch his breath, as he leaned up and started to pull out. No! Lily quickly wrapped her legs around his hip, pulling him back inside her. Uh, leave it in, just for a little bit longer, please? Henry smiled and nodded leaning back down while keeping his arms wrapped around her. He nuzzled her cheek again as he caught his breath. 
So, he asked after a short pause between his soft pants. How was I? Lee took her hooves out of the ripped apron that held her and wrapped her forelegs around his chest, smiling softly. Henry's eyes widened in surprise, dumbfounded at how easily she escaped her bondage. Lily giggled at Henry's confusion, but leaning up to kiss him lovingly on the lips. They both let their sensual embrace linger for a while before breaking it off, pulling their heads back slowly. You could have tied my hooves together a little tighter, but other than that, <laughs> you were wonderful. Oh, uh, sorry about that. Henry said with a hint of embarrassment. I could have sworn I made a tight enough knot, and I'm sorry about ripping your apron. I uh, kind of just lost myself. Don't worry about that, Lily reassured him, squeezing her hooves around him a little tighter. I can buy a new one. Plus, I actually really enjoyed it when you did that. It was so exciting and scary. It really felt like you just wanted me no matter what. Well, I, I kind of did, Henry pointed out with a sly grin. You weren't making it easy for me, and that just drove me crazy. Next time, I'll try to tie you up a little tighter. He bobbed his eyebrows up and down in a suggestive manner, then quickly remembered something that Lily said during the whole event. So, <laughs> you're, um, saving yourself for your cult friend, eh? Lee blushed lightly at that, then giggled bashfully. Yeah, I kind of uh, fantasized that you were taking my first time, she admitted as her blush brightened. I hope it didn't freak you out too much with that line. Henry laughed loudly before pecking her lips with a quick and tender kiss. <laughs> Don't worry, I knew what you meant. Plus, I thought it was kind of cute. I liked it, he admitted, before noticing the bite mark on Lily's neck that damaged her pristine and beautiful pink coat, causing him to wince a little. He didn't draw blood or anything, but it was definitely noticeable. Perhaps he went overboard and lost himself in his role a little too much. Um, I, uh, mm, I hope I didn't bite you too hard. Lily giggled softly before shaking her head. Oh, I loved that part, she admitted with a small shiver. It was so thrilling. My heart was pounding the whole time. She paused and closed her eyes, cooing softly in the light at the recent memory before looking back at him. It was such a rush. Though I might have to wear a scarf for a while. I just hope my sisters don't ask too many questions about it. Just tell them that you're starting the trend, Henry suggested, leaning in to lick the bruised spot on her neck, causing her to hum softly in content. Hmm, I don't think Rose would buy that, Lee pondered as she exposed more of her neck to him. Maybe I'll tell them that I think I'm coming down with a cold or something. Henry stopped his gentle licking for a moment. That could work. He said before going back to tending to her sore bite mark. Lee sighed in pleasure, letting him work as she rubbed his sides lovingly. After a while, she spoke up again. So, uh, I don't think you ever told me about any of your fantasies yet. This caused Henry to stop what he was doing and lean up so he could look at her. She smiled at him. Is there anything that you would like to do with me? Well, Henry started to admit, but hesitated for a moment. I've always had this thing for mares in uh, uniform. Lily's eyes widened a bit, and she blinked up at him a few times in confusion. Uh, uniform? <laughs> 